Hey guys, welcome to another video of Nexus Themes. My name is Brandy and in today's tutorial I will show you how to build a website for a kindergarten business. Most likely you are a web designer and you are about to build a website for a kindergarten business. Or maybe you are an employee of the company or perhaps you are a child care expert yourself. Whichever is the case, in this video tutorial you will learn all it takes to build a beautiful site. Just like the one you see here on your screen. Step by step. No matter if you have built many websites before, or whether this will be your first, I will help you to get your website up and running, step by step. That's what you can expect to see in this video. Of course it could be that questions pop up while you watch this tutorial. Should that be the case, then please address those questions to me. One way is to simply leave a comment underneath this video. Another way would be to use the live chat on our website, that is www.nexusthemes.com, or feel free to send your questions in an email to support at nexusthemes.com. I, or one of the other employees of Nexus Themes, will be happy to answer any questions you might have. And remember, there is no such thing as a stupid question. Ask, and you will receive. Since building a website for a child care expert involves lots of things, we've cut the video into multiple sections. If you already know the ins and outs of one particular section, then can save yourself some valuable time by navigating with the slider to the next section. If instead you want to watch a particular section a second time, then click in the slider to the start of that section. You can find all sections used in this video in the description below. There you will also find the timestamps for each section. By clicking on a timestamp the video player will start to play that specific section. This tutorial assumes the following prerequisites are in place. A WordPress hosting environment. A domain name. As well as an HTTPS certificate. If you don't have one of these set up yet, then please use the link in the description to learn how to get those. For all the steps in this video I will be using the site which you can see here. It runs on domaindemo.websitesexamples.com. It already has WordPress installed. Also you can see I am already logged into the site as an administrator. If you are not yet logged into your site, then this would be the first thing to do here. Simply navigate to the login page, and enter the username and password which you received from your hosting provider. WordPress ships with a particular theme by default. In my case the default one that is pre-installed is called 2020. We will not be using this one, because this theme is not optimized for the page builder we will be using. We therefore need to first install a new theme. The one we will be using is called Ocean WP. It's a very popular one and the good news is that it's free. Let me explain to you how to install it. First go to Appearance. Then go to Themes. On this page, click on the Add New button at the top. Then search for Ocean WP. That is the theme we will be using. Click on the Install button. And afterwards, activate the theme using the Activate button. The page reloads and we can see that the Ocean WP theme, which is the one here on the left, is now the active theme. Great, so the theme is in place. The next step would be to install a couple of WordPress plugins. A WordPress plugin is simply an extension to WordPress. It will add more features to it. In our case we will be adding extra design capabilities to the website. Also we will be adding a feature that allows content to be imported to the site, but more on that later. In the WordPress backend go to Plugins and search for Elementor. Once enabled this plugin adds Page Builder functionality to WordPress. As you can see here this Elementor plugin is very popular. It's actively installed on well over 5 million websites and has a lot of 5 star ratings. Quite impressive. Click on the Install Now button. And afterwards click on the Activate button. The plugin is now activated. Alrighty, the Elementor plugin is installed and the next would be to also install the Pro version. This Pro version offers lots of great features for your website. For example you will get advanced header and footer capabilities. You will definitely need those for your website. Note that Elementor Pro is a premium plugin. 
This means it is a paid extension. You can purchase the pro version of Elementor from their website www.elementor.com. But before you do, I would like to ask you for a small favor. You don't have to do it, but please consider to use our affiliate link when you make the purchase. If you do then Elementor will give us a small commission and of course for you the price is the same. Thanks so much for taking that into consideration. You can find the affiliate link in the description below. After you purchase the pro version you will be able to download the plugin from their portal. It's a zip file. Let me now proceed by explaining how to install the pro version. First you click on the upload plugin button at the top of the plugins page of WordPress. Then select the zip file that you received. In my case the latest version is 2.10.3. Elementor releases updates frequently. So most likely when you install the plugin your version will be higher. Afterwards click on the install now button. The browser will first upload the file. When that is finished then you can proceed by clicking on the activate plugin button. We just activated the plugin, but the plugin itself will only start working when you connect it to a valid license. I will use the connect and activate link. It will allow me to connect to the Elementor portal. It is currently active. That means we are receiving updates, and all its feature will now be working. We also need a plugin to import the content of the Elementor kit. We can use a free plugin to accomplish that. That one is called the All in One WP Migration Plugin. So let's see how to install that one. Go to Plugins. Then go to Add New. Here search for All in One WP Migration Plugin. You will see it's the one that shows up on the top left. It has got over 2 million active installs. And there's a tremendous amount of 4 to 5 star ratings, so it's a very popular plugin. You then click on Install Now. And after it's finished you activate the plugin. OK, all plugins are active and installed. At this moment the website is completely empty. So therefore the next step would be to add content to it. Our company has been in the web design industry for almost a decade. And we know how much time people spend, or perhaps I should say waste, during this phase. This is because it is challenging to come up with ideas. Finding professional images is also time consuming. And so is cropping images in the right way. We therefore came up with a solution which will help you shorten the time to build your website and that is to use the Kindergarten Elementor Template Kit. This template kit will provide you with a head start. Thousands of designers use this efficient approach to spawn websites for their clients in only a few minutes. This is because the kit contains all posts and pages, including the corresponding media files. You will most likely save days, if not weeks, of your valuable time. And the good news is that it is available for only a small fee. Let me explain how you can get the template kit. You should now see a pop-up floating on top of this video, probably somewhere on the top right. This pop-up contains a link. Click on the link. You will be brought to our web shop. There you can purchase the template kit through a secure and safe checkout. If you can't find the pop-up, then don't worry. I will also put a link in the description below. Now that you have the Kindergarten Elementor Template Kit, let me show you how to get the content on your website. First unzip the zip file you received. Unzipping can be done with your favorite unzip tool, for example WinZip. You will now see a file with a WPress file extension. This WPress file is a file that represents the export of the website. It is compatible with the All-in-One WP Migration plugin. Now let us switch over to the All-in-One WP Migration plugin in the WordPress backend to import this file. Go to Import where we can import the file. Select the WPress file. Click on Open and wait till the uploading is finished. OK, great. So all the content finished importing into the site. At the moment you navigate to your home page you can see all the pages, posts, and media now show up properly. The next step would be to re-authenticate. Simply navigate to the login page and then log in with a specific username and password. The username is WPRoot. 
The password is temp1234. Now that we are authenticated, we need to change the password. That should be the first thing to do right now. Hover with your mouse over the profile link on the top right of WordPress. Then click on Edit Profile. Change the email address to your own email account. Also change the password. We recommend to use the Generate Password button because it generates a strong password. And then hit the Update Profile button to commit the changes. Congratulations, your site is now up and running. Next up would be to customize it. Changing the phone number or the email address is easy. Often people wonder if it is possible to add more pages and posts, and yes, that is possible too. And so is changing the colors, fonts, or your logo. Check out the other tutorials from our YouTube channel to see how this is done. If you have more questions at this moment in time, then simply leave a comment below this video. If you share your questions then I, or one of my colleagues, will be happy to follow up with you. I would also like to invite you to join our private Facebook group. There you will be able to interact with other web designers. You can find a link to the Facebook group in the description below. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If it was, then please like the video. That will motivate us to make more tutorials for you on YouTube. If you want to be notified when we release new videos, then subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to also click on the bell icon on the right. That is it for this video. Thanks for your time and I will be happy to see you, in the next one.